very quick uh, record looking at my game against Zoom for families. Uh, the rule set was level seven and nine, you must use three level sevens, and there was some kind of restriction on the level nines. Uh, no, I think it was each card must come from a different deck. So for the level, so I thought there was some restriction on having a lot of nines, I thought, as I recall. And so I really thought the eight six six fours would play very well in a world where there would likely be some tens and a whole lot of eights, given how many level sevens there were. And I didn't think in a world with few nines that eight sevens made that much sense, so I thought there was a good chance I'd be playing against a lot of eight eights. And this is the hand I came up with. If we go to the game, I got first turn, and I really wanted to play eight eight four four and seven. And I guess the key thing to talk about in this game is something I think I handled quite badly. I'm, I, I didn't think moves through as well as I should have here, which is he had played a hand twice already. And I hadn't written down what cards he had, but I had, I had looked at it. And he had 8448, 8484, eight, eight, four, A484, and. Two other cards I'm now forgetting. But I remembered, I, I, because I remembered those three cards, if I played 8, 8, 4, 4, and 7, I was worried he would play 8, 4, 8, 4, and 5, a starter he had already chosen, and that would give him a same with 8, 4, 4, 8, and 8, and a same with 8, 4, 8, 4, and 4. And even if he sets up combos, I don't want to give him sames, especially if I think I can make reads about his hand because sames are stuff I can't combo back. They're much harder for me to punish, especially if I'm trying to balance my range of he might be using the same hand, but he might have varied it up. So I thought that was a little worrisome because the sames were good for him, and also it doesn't set me up at all. I don't get any benefit from causing him to do that. So I started trying to figure out a different move, but I did feel the hand is so oriented towards doing something like that. I considered playing 8, 8, 9, 1, and 3, because I thought that was a... But it felt weird to use the level 9 immediately, and I felt like that felt a little shameful. Um, also, my recapture in 6 is A169, and if he has 8, 4, 4, 8, or 8, 4, 8, 4, that can be comboed back from 9, and I don't have the combo back. So I ended up not being able to come up with anything better. I'm fine with that. He played a very interesting move in response, though, as in he didn't play what I expected. He went for the adjacent corner. And this is a card that made me think he is stuck on the same hand, right? Because it really, he has given himself two squares for 8448 four, eight, if he has it. So I really thought 8448 four, eight is in his hand. That's his card for 8. That's his card for 6. However, if I have read his hand correctly, he has 8484 four, eight, and 8448. Four, eight, and he had two other cards, but neither gives him the capture in four if he has the hand I thought he had. So I thought I should go in eight simply because it blocks four. Oh, one of his other cards was um, four, eight, six, seven. Four, eight, six, seven. And I thought if I block eight, he doesn't have a capture in four, he can play six. But I think I can then play something like A169 and 5, and he'll have very little play against that. What I realized as I started thinking about it a little more, that 4867 does give him some play against 5 from 4. He doesn't have the capture of 7, but everything I play around 5, like if I ever go in 2, say he goes, I go 8, he goes 6, I go 5, he goes three. If I go two, suddenly that combo in four matters a little more because anything I put in two is going to be weak to five. So I wasn't sure about that, but I also wasn't sure what else to do because it is difficult for me to set up to take the card in nine. I don't have a good way to set up in six. I can play six, four, six, eight in three, but that A gives up my ideal card to put in eight. I suddenly am going to have a much trickier time playing an eight, and B a169 is now my card for 6, and if it doesn't play in 6, it's probably not going to play well anyway. So the kind of move I actually started spending a bunch of time on was like A169 in 1, because 
I thought, I just, this card's not going to play well. I, I, I'm going to want it out of my hand. So I started thinking about A1, 6, 9, and 1, because the game going down is just not where it's going to play well. I started thinking about A1, 6, 9, and 8. So if I play A1, 6, 9, and 8, and they go 6, I really will have to block 5. Um, if they play 8, 4, 4, 8, they set up a plus and 5, and maybe I want A1, 6, 9 to be the card that's blocking 5. I wasn't sure. I ended up going with my initial instinct, 6, 4, 6, 8, and 8. But given that I probably should have been playing this as an open game, I think I uh, probably had something cleverer here I could have figured out, but I wasn't seeing it. Um, and he indeed does quite quickly go in 6, because that's what his hand's designed to do. His 4, 8, 6, 7 is now a very good recapture in either 5 or 3. At this point, I was pretty confident I knew his hand. I knew it was 4, 8, 6, 7, 8, 4, 8, 4, just the hand we've talked about. And I don't remember what the last card was. I'm not remembering. Feels like it should be a card for one. Or, yeah, a card for one for this player. But I don't remember what it is. I know it was the level nine. It wasn't like a 4A, 4, 9, or anything like that. Yeah, I'm blanking. Maybe we'll see it. So I'm pretty sure at this point that I know some of the cards. I don't remember if I remembered what the last, but I felt like I should be able to figure something out. But it seemed to me if I go A1, 6, 9, and 8, he sticks something in 3, and it's just pretty uncomfortable. I'm very confident at this point he doesn't have 4. I really think he's on the same hand. And I, I was right there. But I couldn't really figure out a way to punish it. And I eventually came up with, what's my best chance of winning this game? And I think, I think I made a reasonable call here. My best chance of winning this game is 4, 6, 8, 6 sweeps on the top row. Um, whatever his other card was, it has an 8 to the right. I think it was something like 4, 8, A, 4. And 4, 6, 8, 6 thus can really dominate side to side here. He only has 8s and 4s going to the sides, basically, uh, except for the 4, 8, 6, 7. So if I can leave kind of the top row, or at least two of the top row open, I think it's in pretty good shape to sweep. So I could start five. I could play something like A1695. And then they go three. And then I go where, right? If I want to leave the top two squares open for 4686, six, I have to play 8891 and 4. But that's weak to five if I get comboed, or if he can just combo in one which he can if he still has 4, 8, 6, 7 in his hand. This is terrible. So that felt really uncomfortable. I didn't like that. So if I go 5, 3 is blocked. If I go 3, I'm blocking one of the squares it wants to sweep in. And so I eventually came up with the idea of I want to play somewhere, even if it's 1, 2, or 3, but I specifically don't want to play in 2 because I need 4, 6, 8, 6 to contact whatever card he plays. I came up with the idea of going in 1. And I feel like I should have found better here, but looking back at it, this, this seems like a nice try to me. I eventually play... I think this was a good try, because I'm pretty confident 4686 is going to be a great sweep here. I play 8891 and 1, because I think it's hard for him. He doesn't have 4. I'm pretty confident. And if he does go 4, I can go 5 with A169, and 4686 is going to be great. Because even if he can combo through 5, I combo back at 3 through 6. I didn't think he ever goes 2 here. And if he does, maybe I can just go A1, 6, 9, and 4, and 4, 6, 8, 6 should be good. So I, I thought this put him in a tricky spot for his hand. But I believe he moved very quickly through this. Sum is, of course, a very good close player. Um, as I record this, he is uh, in... Losers Finals and SE Zidane, a fantastic run. And I've made a video about his close play before because we played like an eight game match at one point, not for anything, just kept playing against each other. And he thoroughly outplayed me. I lost every game on second turn in that match. I, I think put up a slight plus on first turn for an overall quite negative result. He goes five quite quickly. He just takes the same. He's locking in eight and nine. And here, there's only one move that fits my plan. I'm at no risk of losing. I know I'm safe from losing, right? I know unless he's really changed up the hand, and he'd have to have a 9 or a 7 to the right, which seems very unlikely to me. So 
that I'm safe going in for, and he indeed said that he was really scared of getting comboed here. But I think at this point we know what his remaining cards are. Um, I think it's 4-8-A-4 and 8-4-8-4, and I did not find a way to set up to beat those, because he's going to play 8-4-8-4-M-2, and he does. And uh, he goes up 7-3, and I only flip two cards back, so I tie. So I feel given that I did know his hand from the start, that he clearly had made one hand, he had done decent well with it, and he was clearly sticking with it, I should have been able to make better reads on his stuff because I was essentially playing an open game. But I also think his hand procured well enough, I'm not sure where I could have improved on my play, perhaps indicative that my hand wasn't that great. I think if we look at it, my level 7s played quite well, but my level 9s played really poorly. And if they'd had better choices, perhaps I would have had a chance to win this game. I'm not saying I should win this game because he did something wrong, though I think playing the same hand as much is a mistake. But given that I was playing it sort of open, and I did have first turn in a closed game, I should have a pretty large advantage, and it would have been nice if I could convert. But I couldn't manage here. I think he played a very good game, really found ways. You know, he got sames, the clear lock-ins. I didn't so much. That despite playing, you know, he was playing closed, I was playing open. I think he played a really good game and deserved the tie. But I, I do wish I had found a way to maybe make it a little tougher for him. He did play quite quickly this game. So uh, that's my third plan league game video, I think.